girl. Again, we're doing an entire day of filming. And why am I doing an entire day of filming? Listen, do y'all hear that? That is silence. Do you know why? Because my children are gone. I, I have not heard mommy, I don't know, since like 7, 12 this morning. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. So I am filming all day. They're not here to talk to me, so I'm going to talk to you. And um, I've shot some other videos already, so just watch those when you can. And we are talking all things math today for James right here. Um, you should know math is one of James's favorite subjects. Uh, that is what he asked for. That is what he desires. He is um, the STEAM poster child. Uh, so he also has all three learning styles. So he has to see it, he has to hear it, and he has to do it. And our math curriculum this year, I mean, he loves math. So it was fine, you know. Neither one of us loved the curriculum, though. And I've said it before, I will say it again. Uh, my goal, what is on my heart, what I strongly desire to lay down is to teach my children to love to learn. Yes. Um, so not necessarily teaching them, like, what is four plus four? I want them to love to learn the concepts and developments and how to add on to that. And right now, that is where they are. Most children at this age are. They just love to learn and grow and get new things and just soak up all of this knowledge. I don't want that to deflate, okay? Um, so let's jump into math. Now, I must tell you, and I'm sure if you are a homeschool mom or thinking about becoming a homeschool mom or even, you know, want to do something else with your kids at home, if you that right there, that's my diffuser. Don't worry about that. Um, you have gone down the YouTube rabbit hole. I call that professional development. And you know, get on YouTube and I research and I learn things. Well, when I was thinking about math for this year, I was I was drawing a blank. I couldn't figure it out. It, it would stress me out, so I was walking away from it. And I was talking to a good friend who, um, this is her first year of homeschooling. Her boys, well, she did like preschool at home with them and sent them to school and then brought them back home and is having great success with them at home. And she texted me at like 9.30 in the morning and was like, I figured out our math curriculum. I stayed up till 3 a.m. and I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos and I narrowed it down and I'm so excited. And I was like, great, give me your research because I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss. And she brought up Matthew C and light bulb went off. And I was like, you know, I think I bought something of Matthew C at a homeschool fair because it was like $5. And I was like, why not? And she was just like, okay, well, when I did the assessments, you know, one son was here, the other son was here, and that is what I ordered. And I was just like, okay, send me the link for the assessment. I did the assessment. James was at the primer stage. And then... I went to YouTube to watch videos specifically on Matthew C. Primer. And I probably watched, I don't know, eight different ones. They were all very short. Um, just, you know, moms doing lessons with their kids and things like that. And this is the curriculum that one encompasses all of the learning styles that James needs. But I really feel like it will also lay that foundation for him to love learning. So this is Matthew C. Primer. This is the student workbook. Um, and a lot of homeschool families will like take the pages out, put them in page protectors um, and use them for other children. Probably do that. Um, <laughs> we like to save our pennies here. And again, and I'll show you, they, can't, they come with these cute manipula manipulatives, excuse me. Right? And I... I know a lot of people want something that's a lot more colorful and grand and all of that. We had that this year, okay? It was lots of colors. It was, it didn't do what it needed to do. Um, I also like how it's only one set of manipulatives. It's not you have these 80 circles and these third squares and these rectangles and these number cards. And if you want it, if that's what you like, that's for you, that's great. It did not work well for us this year like I brought up those manipulatives maybe three times it was just very very cumbersome and it really took away 
from the lesson um, for us. Um, I also got the teacher manual. Um, again, like I'll be using this with two kids. It was worth it for the investment for me. I do know that a lot you can get. I know the teacher workbook for sure. Um, you can get used um, curriculum sales or uh, if you have like a curriculum consignment store online. A lot of people are selling these for discounted prices. Um, so I got that and then I will show you all the manipulatives and how I organize them later. So that's math. It also comes with the Matthew C DVD and I ordered it straight from the Matthew C site and you get um, like web-based learning codes as well. Um, so it's really, really interactive and I can break it up to where like, um, and when I watch the YouTube videos that I said earlier, some families will watch this like once a week. Like if Monday is when they would start something new, they will watch it on Monday and then the next lesson on the next Monday. Some families were saying that they will watch it one to like every day that they do school just to consistently and constantly reinforce that. I'm not sure how it'll work for us. I know for sure we're probably gonna do it once a week. Um, I know that for sure. I don't know if we'll do it other times. It really, it really just depends, but I'm excited about that too. Um, and I've said this before, I don't know if you've seen it. There are a lot of families out there that are like anti-screens. They don't do any type of TV. They don't have smartphones. Like we are not that family. We're not. So if this, you are just, oh, you got angst in your spirit of watching it. I love you. And I'm okay if you leave right now. Um, I don't want, I don't want that in your spirit, but this is how we homeschool. Um, I also have these, can you see that? Sorry. Um, these like CD-ROM learning games that we are typically four day a week homeschoolers. Um, if we have a busier week or maybe we don't do as much as I would like, I might throw this in. Um, or again, if we just want to do something else or add on to it or maybe take a break from the book, we will use those uh, CD-ROMs. My kids also have ABC Mouse and um, Khan Academy Kids. Uh, so we'll work those especially, we use those things especially like when we're schooling on the go. If we have like a whole bunch of appointments or we're doing, you know, meetups or things like that, that's when we will use more of like the app tech-based learning, if you will. Um, so that is a math for James. I am super, super excited about it. And I feel like the more excited I am to like teach him, the more excited he is to learn. So again, hopefully we would just all love to learn and I will teach my children that and we will be good to go. Uh, up next, I got a lot more coming to you. Watch them when you can. Again, I don't have my kids today. You might have yours and this is all you have time to watch today. Thank you for watching. I love you and I appreciate you. See you soon. Bye.